avert your eyes. Toby, are you doing this on purpose? Happy as Larry. me again welcome back to Exxon Media X and the first sit down video that we filmed in absolutely ages now those of you who watch my weekly vlogs will know that I have a furry little reason as to why I haven't been filming many sit down videos and that's this little furry reason his name is Toby and he is my not so little anymore puppy um, I got him about three months ago he's five months old now um, and he's amazing but he's also a little menace so um, yeah, he's kind of been keeping me busy for the past few months. But I just kind of had an urge to film something for you today. I've kind of missed sitting down in my beautiful little filming space. Um, and I thought I'd film a Q&A for you today because loads of you guys have been asking me questions on Twitter, Instagram, and on my Patreon. So I just thought I'd bundle them all together in a little Q&A video and just sort of have a bit of a catch up really. Okay, so I'm gonna get the questions from my um, Patreon team first because I asked those quite a while ago. Um, and the first one's from Cassie and she said, was there anywhere you've traveled where you weren't initially interested in but ended up loving um, and that's a really really good question actually because pretty much a lot of the places I've been to with press trips are places that I would never have thought to go for example Bucharest um, I went last year with Lauren and it wasn't anywhere it was in Romania it's nowhere that I thought about going I thought what the hell is there apart from Transylvania um, and it actually turned out that it was an incredible place to visit beautiful architecture really really cheap and the biggest spa in Europe it was amazing, absolutely loved Bucharest, and also Lithuania as well. I had no idea that there were so many different um, types of things to do in Lithuania. So there was literally everything from cities to um, forests to beaches. It was just, the, it was amazing. Really, really liked it there. Um, yeah, there's a lot of places that I go and a lot of things that I do that I never kind of thought were accessible and then when you go and do them and you realize just how easy they are to get to for example the komodo dragon islands in indonesia seems like a once in a lifetime trip but actually if you book the right internal flights and you do it at the right time of year it's pretty cheap to get there and do and it's just absolutely amazing okay so lucy says if you weren't a youtuber what would be your dream career um i'd probably say vet because i, I wanted to be a vet when i was younger um but i never I don't think I was clever enough actually <laughs> when it came down to it, but I'd love to be a vet. I think that would be my ultimate career if I wasn't doing this. Um, Sarah Hale says, what are your top three goals that you're personally working on at the moment? So those of you who watch the weekly vlogs will know um, that I've had a really crappy time of it recently with my mental health and yeah, with mental health really. So my ultimate goal at the moment is just to get back to being me um, and focus on taking one day at a time and being happy and looking after myself um, and then from there I would say building on the channel again and my blog and raising a fairly well behaved puppy who is actually chewing on his antler right now and we're all good so we're doing quite well at the moment. <laughs> Lindsay Chapman says how are you? Oh, I'm actually really good thanks Lindsay and also do you want any children if so how many goodness me that's a deep question um yeah I've always wanted children um ideally two one of each there you go but at the moment he's my child and he's enough <laughs> Uh, Kathy Doyle says, are you still pursuing your classes in psychology and counselling? I've thought about going back to school myself for something similar. Uh, yeah, I've still, I'm working online for my counselling diploma and um, I'm kind of about halfway through but it's one of those where you can pick it up and put it down as and when you want to and because things have been a bit hectic the past few months I probably haven't done as much studying as I should have done. Um, but yeah, it's a really great way to learn, I feel, um, because it takes away the pressure of deadlines which obviously sometimes are really good um, but if you've got a busy lifestyle or you're already working on a lot of stuff then it, it can be quite tricky to fit it in but yeah really enjoying it and I definitely recommend it there's an entire blog post on my blog um, so if you have a look for that you'll be able to find out all the details and where I'm studying what I'm doing how much it costs etc etc um, so yeah really really good Katrina asks what would you attempt to do if you knew you could not fail oh, oh my goodness um, bungee jumping <laughs> skydiving because failing I suppose would be um, not making it down there alive I don't know um, yeah I'd probably pursue my like veterinary degree if you knew you couldn't fail because that is a lot of money if you didn't end up getting where you wanted to be isn't it goodness me Toby are you doing this on purpose 
Okay, let's have a look at Twitter. So Emma Louise says, is there a company or brand that you would love to work with? Um, do you know what? I've worked with so many amazing brands and companies for my blog and my YouTube channel and there's still loads to work with. I would love to do some more work with Barber because I, especially now I've got him and it's coming into autumn, I've just got visions of me walking along in barber wellies, a barber jacket, him in a dog barber coat and a big like cosy barber jumper strolling through the forest taking some beautiful pictures. <laughs> so I'd like to do some work with them. Um, Verve Clicquot, always, always favourite champagne. So yeah, I'd love to work with Verve actually. Verve, call me. And Emma also asked, your tips for staying on top of your blog organisation? <laughs> um, well, being full time it's a little bit difficult for, for uh, different to when I was doing it as a hobby. Uh, doing it full time I try to stick to 9 to 5 hours as much as possible which is impossible really when you work on social media because social media doesn't sleep but um, yeah I think it's really good to try and keep to that a 9 to 5 day as much as possible and then you just kind of I just kind of find that organ my days kind of organise themselves if I know I've got a time limit um, when I was doing it as a hobby I would say that again organise your weekends so literally spend some time in the evening or at the weekend um, working on your blog but only give yourself that time to do it because otherwise it really can take over your life and while it's your passion and it's your hobby and you love doing it um, you need to have time for yourself otherwise I feel like you're in danger of losing the passion. Cara McNeils, Nillis, sorry Cara, um, what do you ask for at the hairdresser and what's your current hair routine? <laughs> oh dear, I feel like this is the worst video to ask me that question. What are you wrecking my sofa? What are you doing? Um, what I ask for at the hairdressers, well if I'm going for a colour touch up I have a toner so uh, this is all just toner it's not actual hair dye so I had it balayage probably about two years ago now um, and then I just go in for a toner so I kind of go for a copper toner I haven't used a purple shampoo in a while so um, yeah it might be looking a little bit brassy but I kind of go for like a copper toner and then we do dark on top even though this is my natural colour um, I normally go a little bit darker on top and yeah, I go to the Francesco group and they just do such a fabulous job of just blending it out. And all the lighter bits of blonde that you see, that's my natural colour. I've got these weird kind of um, rogue from X-Men blonde streaks at the front that have just always been there. So yeah, I just they just do a really good job. And as for my hair care routine, um, wash it <laughs> maybe every two or three days um, and then... I'm using mane and tail at the moment, hair, sh uh, hair shampoo and conditioner, and then I just kind of blow dry it and straighten it with my cloud nines and that's it. I don't really use anything else on it. Um, and that's that's just it. Most of the time it's straight, if I can be bothered I'll curl it, um, and then it looks kinky like this when it gets wet. <laughs> and that's my current hair routine. Terrible. Sorry. Probably should do more with this hair. I'm also very aware that I might be flashing you my um, rather sexy minimizer nude bra. Um, so apologies if you can see that. Avert your eyes. Uh, Becky Rook asks, first I think you deserve so much more recognition. Thank you Becky, that's lovely. My question is, if you could move and keep your job, where would you move? Well, do you know what? The best thing about this job is I can move and I can keep it. It goes with me everywhere, which is brilliant. Um, I, the only, like, if you're talking abroad, the only places I've ever been to that I've thought, yes, I could live here, are Paris and Florida, like America, because it's always so sunny and happy. Um, but in the UK, I don't know, maybe a little bit closer into the centre of Birmingham, just because there's a lot going on, or Manchester. I really love Manchester, so uh, yeah, but at the moment I'm kind of happy where I am, just plodding along. <laughs> And Emma Lewis has also said, one piece of advice you could have given yourself five years ago. Oh, what was I doing five years ago? <laughs> um, let's see. So it's been a year. Probably just before I met my ex. Don't do it! No, I'm kidding. Um, just go for it. Like, don't be afraid and go for it. Um, with the business, with quitting my job and going full time, with loving yourself with everything just go full force into bloody everything and just enjoy every day as it comes I, I i actually 
I wouldn't change anything I've done over the past five years, which may seem absolutely crazy for those of you who know what I've been through over the past um, 18 months. If you don't, check back through the videos. You're welcome. <laughs> Should be on Jeremy Kyle. Um, but yeah, I, I wouldn't, I honestly, honestly wouldn't change a thing because I really feel like everything that's happened, everything I've been through, everything I've done, every decision I've made has made me the person I am today and I actually quite like me. I think I'm doing all right. I think I'm a good person and yeah, you have to sometimes go through difficult times to grow and become the best version of yourself and I wouldn't change it for the world, even though it's heartbreaking would not change it for the world. Kim says, when you first started out, how and why did you choose the brand or content that you did? Oh, um, the brand, well, my XAX actually came from MSN days, where um, I used to sign off with XAX, X and Media X, um, and then the fir very first time I got a mobile phone, I was like, well, people need to know that it's me, so I did my little signature, um, so X Media X just kind of came from there. And the content, it very much started out as like a lifestyle online diary and then it kind of moved into beauty and then it moved a little bit into fashion but then I realised I wasn't very fashionable um, and then it kind of went into food and now it's all the way back around to the beginning of lifestyle um, so yeah I'm just kind of it's grown with me and grown with my interests really and that's the way I think it should be with a blog I've literally got a puppy sat right behind me and I think he's going to sleep yeah he's snoring brilliant Rosalie Murphy says, what's your favourite feel good song at the moment? Um, I really like Katy Perry's Swish Wish. It's a terrible, terrible song, but for some reason it gets stuck in my head and it makes me feel good. Um, and then Feels, don't be afraid to get feels. A lot of Katy Perry for some reason, not like a massive Katy Perry fan. Um, yeah, I like those songs at the moment. Cara again, skincare routine and will you do BBG again? Skincare routine again at the moment is very much similar to my hair. I just kind of use makeup wipes, sorry I know you're not supposed to and I'm nearly 30, I should know better. Um, <laughs> and then I use the, actually I use the Kiehl's oil cleanser and a super facialist scrub in the shower. And then I use, I'm using Kiehl's moisturiser at the moment, the honey one. I switch between the honey one and um, a rhodial one that's in a purple tub and it's something like gives you eight hours sleep effect or something I really just started using that one quite like the feel of it um, but I like to give it a good sort of month or two on my skin before I sort of talk about it online um, yeah just to let my skin get used to it but yeah pretty much that pretty simple I'm afraid and then I've been using a lot of Korean skincare face masks um, a charcoal luminizing mask which is really really good uh, yeah, I've been experimenting a little bit more with my skin at the moment, even though at the moment it's not so great and I am pale as a ghost. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. And the BBG, oh, don't even talk to me about exercise. <laughs> I haven't done any exercise in probably about three months, which is terrible. I just haven't been in the right headspace for it, even though I know it would make me feel better. Um, yeah, so never say never with the BBG. It's bloody difficult. And I can imagine with Toby hanging around, it'd be even worse trying to get everything done. Um, but yeah, it works. Fundamentally, it works. So if I'm ever on a real kind of fitness weight loss mission, 100%, I dig that out. Um, but at the moment, just thinking about exercise brings me out in hives. Penelope says, "What is your favourite candle scent?" Um, probably uh, well it's any of the neon range if i'm completely honest with you i absolutely love neon they're my favorite favorite candles um and apart from that i have just got the aldi candles which everybody's raving about i really like number one and number three actually number three might be my favorite which is kind of a um what's that one i can't think of what it's called number three from aldi that's pretty good um but yeah anything from neon i love their happiness range i love their scent to sleep range i just love all of them and they just they fill a room I can't I just I bloody love Neome <laughs> if anyone's ever stuck on what to buy me as a present a Neome candle or a Neome body scrub or a Neome room spray or a diffuser happy as Larry and that I believe is it I'm really sorry if I didn't answer your questions um, I feel like I've rambled on a bit too much here but if you've got any other questions leave them down below I'll answer them in the comments section or we can always film another video or I can do an Instagram live Q&A I like doing those 
spontaneous ones of those. Um, but yeah, thanks very much for joining me guys. It feels good. Feels good to be sat back here with my candle on and all my fairy lights in the background. But thank you very much for joining me guys. It's been really nice to be sat back here again, even though I have had this little monster chewing an antler very loudly, pottering around, knocking wires, and now snoring on me. Took it himself out, bless him. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for joining me. And if you'd like to see more of me, um, don't forget I have my weekly vlogs every Tuesday at 7 p.m. So um, do join in with those if you haven't joined in with those before. And of course, there's Instagram as well and the blog, aixameliarex.com, but all the information is down below. And of course, if you're new, if you enjoyed this, then welcome. Click subscribe, stick around for a little while, leave me a comment, let me know some of the videos that you'd like to see, apart from hauls, because I'm a little bit broke. <laughs> um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So thank you so much for sticking with me, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video, and hopefully we'll be seeing a lot more of each other sat on this sofa over the next coming month. But as always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Hey everyone, me again, welcome back to X Amelia Rex. So today I'm gonna to be sharing with you my foolproof five step shaving routine that will guarantee you the closest shave you've ever had without any irritation or razor burn. And I swear by it.